Eddie's World is in Japan. But if I'm in Japan, how am I going to continue the Halloween series? Oh my gosh, how are we going to continue the Halloween series? Oh yeah, now I remember. By bringing our tools, that's how. Wait. The miniature versions. I got a saw, pliers, and a screwdriver. Okay, no, guys, just playing around. This is what I'm bringing. I got an otter box that I found in my wife's trunk. Thank you. Since I'm gonna be on the move, instead of paint brushes, I have paint pens. Deco color, Sharpie, and they're all a base to Huli. Wait a minute. They're all oil based. Bringing this saw hopefully doesn't get confiscated. Some miniature crazy glue. My multi tool safety award. Thank you, Fletcher Pacific. Some clay tools, pair of snips, gloves. Pack up some clay, golf ball sized amount, really sus. Some eyeballs, suction cups, spare parts, couple Lego shooters, and some parts I found lying around the garage. Oh my goodness. Well, oh, that's interesting. I've been looking for this. That's cool. Very creative. I'm just gonna borrow these. Hopefully I can find a replacement in Japan. This guy will do. I think I'm ready, guys. Babe, are you gonna pack your bags or what? Uh-oh. Bye Oscars. Bye Guppies. Bye Workshop. Bye Mocha. We'll be right back. You guys ready? Yeah! Waiting for the airplane. Finally boarding. Nine hours later. Okay guys, this is our first full day, our first real full day in Japan. So, I'm gonna start working on my custom. Don't mind the shower noises in the back. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get most of the fabrication done. I'm gonna try to get the head on, the wings. I wanna decorate his shield and bones. Oh, one more thing, hold on. I also wanted to cover his whole body in these eyes that I bought. Okay guys, I got all my customizing things in my little day bag. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. I'm I'm 100% getting this thing. Guys, do you want to see what I did to the custom on our day out? Yeah. Can we see? This. Nothing. Nothing. Daddy did nothing today. Okay, guys, I was going to try to do my customization as we were walking, but it was just too hard. And I didn't want to disrupt the Japanese public kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs>
should not do this here. So, this is what I made. His head is a Lego helmet. Not sure where it's from, maybe Lord of the Rings. This shield I made out of a toy skeleton head and I gave him some tentacles on the top and bottom out of epoxy clay. And then I just painted the whole thing metallic silver with my pen. All the details on his body are made out of epoxy clay. And then I just stuck all these eyeballs on him. And then I just painted everything silver and all his armor black. All of my oil-based pens came out really nice except for the red. I thought it was a metallic red, but it's not, and I couldn't really get it too close to the feet. So I'm gonna just touch all that up at home. But the black came out really nice, and especially the metallic silver. Guys, you might notice I also didn't give him a weapon. It's because we found these cool metal swords in a gift shop, but they're just a little too big. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for a real metal sword from Japan to give this guy. Guys, my warrior doesn't have a name. Let me know what we should name him in the comments below. So guys, what do you think of custom Halloween warrior number six? It wasn't easy, but I got it done. And in fact, it was so hard for me to do on our vacation that I think next Saturday, I'm just gonna have an Akedo Battle in Japan video, and we're probably not gonna have a Wednesday video. But after Saturday, we'll be back home, so don't worry, we'll be back to our regular Wednesday and Saturday schedule. And just to give everyone a little hint, we're gonna do another Five Nights at Freddy figure. So make sure you guys like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss that video. Thank you everyone so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Boys, I'm gonna buy you one of these to replace the one I destroyed.